hey yo, welcome to Michigander Outdoors. You may be new here because this is not my typical video. Normally we're doing hunting and fishing videos, but it's summertime, uh, it's nasty out, weather's unpredictable, so we're doing a bunch of doing a bunch of traveling. So I figured I'd take the camera along the way, and as I learn things, some tips and tricks, uh, provide the provide that information to you guys. So here we are. First video in, let's see, a three to four video series of my travels around the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. First stop will be Mackinac Island. I'm going to be telling you ways that you can save money, uh, have fun, uh, spend some time with your loved ones, and a few other things. Places to eat, reviews, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Here we go, Mackinac Island. Everyone's not Shefflers. They still honor Shefflers tickets, so you can still get your $2 off. But it's still $54 for two people for a day trip to the island, which seems a little ridiculous, but whatever. I'm gonna make money. yet, but everyone, just like an airplane, starting to rush to get off. First person off. I don't know why. No, well, I was going to say we're just going to relax, but apparently we're rushing as well. So, here we go. If you're staying on the island, you have the option of bringing a bike, which you should think about, because uh, they don't allow vehicles here. So, you got a horse or a bike. It's your only mode of transportation. Alright, hold on to your loved ones so you don't get lost in the stampede. I like that sweater. If you think you're gonna be even like one minute late to the ferry, just wait till the next one. Because they uh, run out. Tight nip ship here. Yeah. I know. Can't see them now. Oh. So that's your other mode of transportation. Anyway, if you're running a minute late, they will leave you behind on the ferry. So just be on time. We got to the parking lot with nine minutes to spare and then we made it by running. So, if you don't run, you're not gonna make it. So give yourself 15 minutes. Right, I guess we're gonna see how much the bikes cost. Guys, don't go as fast as you did last They have double, we're, we are not cut out for those, no. We, Why not? I guess we can try kill each other. All right, let's see how much your bikes. If you're wondering, $12 an hour for a regular bike. So they have plenty of shops to buy souvenirs. It smells like poop, so watch where you're walking. Obviously not here. I used to have one of these as a kid. Here's the famous, I don't know if this one's famous. If you come to Mackin Island and you don't get fudge, I can't tell you which one is the best because we buy it and then we don't eat it all because we buy first time didn't we we bought a crap load and then because we didn't eat it all buy two, get two, three, yeah yeah, so yeah. Like they give you some ridiculous see buy four get one. get one and then we got duped and we bought five things of fudge and yeah that's a good point all right 
So that other place was right by the arena. So this one, uh, Reba's, is a little bit cheaper. So all you gotta do is walk a little bit, don't be lazy, and then you can get bikes for eight bucks an hour. Ears look so far. Just like any other random fish. You must have read my mind because it is actually medium. Alright, so moral of the story here, folks. Don't listen to all your reviews. Because that place had this place right here. Two star review, and that was a very good burger. It was fresh. You could tell the beef is from a local farm. And it was spicy, so if you like the spicy, go there. Alright, now we got some horsepower. Actually, some non-horsepower. And we've never really been past this street. Now, we're cruising. Oh. Really? <laughs> hey! That was crazy. We just drove 250 miles and ran into our next door neighbor. That was cool. Yes, I'm talking to my fans. <laughs> are very expensive that's why we typically don't stay on the island last time i looked i think it was like i think are about three to four hundred dollars a night this is kind of like those streets in the movies prime example would be uh winchestertonville so apparently this portion of the island has been down for construction um, as you can see today for whatever reason i think it's because it's a weekend open is where we're at right now that we oh come on I'm a little man Hold on. nice scenery photo ops all right so another thing if you're a small five foot eight man like myself um, I know it's a blow to your ego but it might be easier to just ask the woman's bike because I'm not, I don't know why they got gargantuan men out here but I'm on my tippy toes, barely on this side. All right, this is the other side that is typically shut down for construction all summer. I didn't realize this was over here. It's nice and peaceful. Less people than on the road. I think a lot of people do the same thing that I do and just come to the main street, walk around, get a little fat and sassy. 207 steps, that's not bad. You. I'm like, such what a. What are you doing? All right, we are now on our way to the Arch Rock. Very nice. Very fun. And this one. This is. What are you doing? Quit feeling me out. Alright, there she is. That is kind of cool. Alright, we're gonna take some more pics and then on to the next site. Was that fun? That was kind of cool. It was a miniature pitcher drop, so if you don't want to go all the way to Munising, you can come here and walk. I don't know, we're probably. I think bike is a good idea. Yeah. Walk is good. $12 an hour, they just take your credit card and if you go straight around in one hour, it's, I, mean, I don't know how fast you can drive can eight in miles. Hours. It's stopping at the stops, yeah, so playing on two hours, so about $24, make it hollow. Yes. So 
again. For whatever reason, we got lucky today. They opened up this road from construction. It's going to be closed tomorrow, so perfect timing on us to go. So if you guys are thinking about doing a tandem bike, they try to talk you out of it because they just spent more money off of site two bikes. Also, if you're stopping at all the sites, enjoying yourself, plan on probably close to three hours, two and a half, to do the whole island. Alright, final stop on this tour is the Mackinac Island State Harbor. So this is another thing you could just chill and look at all the people watch. Look at all the big boats. Look at the really big boat. All the people coming off. It's always a good time. What's our specials? Going into about 14 different fudge stores, we walked out with zero fudge. So, that was fun. What do you got to say about that? It's, it's just chocolate. So pro tip uh, bathroom closes at 7 30. So. It literally just closed like four minutes ago. Sorry, babe. <laughs>